हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू फाइंड सेंटर ऑफ वायर बैंड एज शोन इन फिगर वेन एवर वायर लाइन और बार वर्ड इज यूज दैन दैट इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वन डायमेंशनल एंड यू यूज वन डायमेंशनल फॉर्मूला वेर एवर लेमिना सेक्शन एंड प्लेन एरिया वर्ड इज यूज then that is the example of two dimensional so here wire word is used so that is the example of one dimensional so for finding center of wire you follow some simple steps in step number 1 indicate reference axis so what is the meaning of reference axis reference axis means the axis from which we find x bar and y bar so it is called reference axis so first we indicate reference axis at the left side of the figure and at the bottom of the figure so here this is the left side of the figure and this is the bottom of the figure so here in first step we indicate reference axis so the reference axis means the axis from which we find x bar and y bar means find center of wire it's called reference axis and generally reference axis indicate at the left side of the figure and at the bottom side of the figure in second step check the given figure is symmetrical about any axis or not so what is the meaning of symmetrical axis so symmetrical axis means the axis which divides the figure in two equal parts here x axis and y axis not symmetrical about any axis so here we write the given figure is not symmetrical about any axis so here we find x bar and y bar both and what is the advantage of symmetrical axis if x axis is symmetrical then we directly calculate y bar and if y axis is symmetrical then we directly calculate x bar but in our problem the given figure is not symmetrical about any axis so we have to calculate x bar and y bar both in step number 3 divide section into parts so here as shown in figure there are two parts first one shape that is semi circular and second one that is horizontal line so here in our question divides figure in parts so here in our problem there are two parts first one is semi circle and second part is horizontal line in step number 4 find length x and y here we find length because this is the example of one dimension in one dimensional problem we find length in two dimensional problem we find area so here first we find length of semi circle and length of horizontal line so first we discuss equation about this if length is given l then x bar is equal to for example this is the reference axis so from reference axis this uh, horizontal distance that is l by 2 because in centroid of this line at its middle so from reference axis this distance is l by 2 if if we see horizontal distance then x and if we calculate vertical distance then y so here horizontal distance from reference axis that is l by 2 and there is no vertical distance so that's why y bar is equal to 0 in second case if vertical line is given then this is our reference axis so length is l here from reference axis there is no horizontal distance that's why x bar is equal to 0 and we know that centroid of this vertical line that at its middle so from reference axis this distance is l by 2 so y bar is equal to l by 2 again i repeat when you see horizontal distance then 
always use x so here from reference x is the center of the line that is l by 2 but there is no vertical distance that's that's why y bar is equal to 0 similarly when you find center of vertical line then x bar is equal to 0 and vertical distance from reference line that is l by 2 next equation is for circle so in circle there is total length that is the 2 pi r that is the circumference of circle so circle length that is given by equation 2 pi r if radius of this circle is r and we find centroid so centroid of this circle that at its middle so this distance is r so from reference axis centroid of the circle is r so this is the horizontal distance so that's why we write x bar is equal to r and again from reference axis vertical distance of this centroid is again r so y bar is also r in case of semicircle centroid of this semicircle is here so from reference axis this horizontal distance is r so x bar is equal to r and vertical distance from this reference axis that is 2r by pi so y bar is equal to 2r by pi and length of the semicircle we know that length of the circle that is 2 pi r so semicircle length that is divided by 2 so 2 pi r divided by 2 is equal to pi r in our problem there are two shapes first one is semicircle and second one is horizontal line so we know that length of semicircle that is pi r here diameter is 10 centimeter so radius is 5 so i multiply 5 is equal to 15.707 centimeter again i repeat semicircular length that is pi r so here pi and diameter is given 10 centimeter so radius is 5 centimeter so that answer is 15.707 centimeter similarly length of this horizontal line that is 10 centimeter so here we write l2 is equal to 10 centimeter then we find x1 y1 and x2 y2 so here x1 we know that x1 for semicircle that is r from reference axis so in our problem diameter is 10 centimeter so from reference axis this distance is 5 centimeter and again this part is connected with reference axis so that's why we can directly calculate center of this semicircle that is r and y is equal to 2r by pi so here x1 is equal to r that is 5 centimeter and y1 that is given by equation 2r by pi so here r that is 5 so 2 into 5 divided by pi so answer is 3.18 centimeter for horizontal line this part is not directly connected with reference axis here we know that center of this line that is 5 cm but from this point and we find centroid from reference axis so this distance is 10 cm so 10 cm plus 5 cm so x2 we get 10 plus 5 is equal to 15 cm and y2 we know that for horizontal line there is no vertical distance that's why y2 is equal to 0 so here we can write y2 is equal to 0 again i repeat for semicircular length that is l1 is equal to pi r x1 that distance is r from the reference axis and this part is connected with reference axis so directly put equation x is equal to r and y is equal to 2r by pi
and four horizontal line this part is not connected with reference axis so first we find center of this line so this distance is 10 cm so center of line that at its middle that's why 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 cm and from reference axis this center is 10 plus 5 so x2 is equal to 15 cm and there is no vertical distance that's why y is equal to 0 then we find x bar and y bar so here x bar formula that is l1 x1 plus l2 x2 divided by l1 plus l2 and we know that length of this semicircle that we already find that is 15.707 x1 we get 5 cm l2 that is 10 and x2 that is 15 divided by l1 plus l2 put this value and solve this equation we get x bar is equal to 8.889 cm and y bar equation that is l1 y1 plus l2 y2 divided by l1 plus l2 so put the value of l1 y1 and l2 y2 and solve this equation we get y bar is equal to 1.942 centimeter so whenever you calculate centroid first see that is the example of wire line or bar so that is the example of one dimensional and formula for one dimensional that is x bar is equal to l1 x1 plus l2 x2 divided by l1 plus l2 so in this example we find length and whenever lamina section plane area body is used then that is the example of two dimensional and you use two dimensional formula so for finding centroid you follow some simple steps first step reference axis second step symmetrical axis step number three divide section in parts in step number four find length x1 y1 x2 y2 and in step number five find x bar and y bar so in this way you easily calculate centroid of wire thank you